Originating in 2014, Emotet, aka the King of Malware, is a sophisticated banking trojan designed to steal sensitive information from infected systems. Over the years, it has evolved into a formidable threat causing havoc across the globe. The exact identities of the individuals or groups behind the Emotet Malware family have not been determined. Emotet is believed to have originated from Eastern European cyber criminals, possibly operating in Russia or Ukraine. These individuals or groups remain largely anonymous and operate under various aliases or handles in underground forums. In early 2021, a joint effort by authorities from several countries including the United States, Canada, and European nations resulted in the takedown of the Emotet infrastructure. This operation significantly disrupted the Emotet botnet. The Emotet malware is typically distributed through a network of botnets, which are controlled by Command and Control Infrastructure, or C2s. The individuals responsible for managing these botnets and orchestrating Emotet campaigns are also likely part of the overall Emotet operation. What makes Emotet so dangerous is its ability to propagate rapidly and infect entire networks. Emotet utilizes spam email campaigns tempting users with seemingly legitimate attachments, which once opened, enable the malware to take control. This vicious cycle allows it to spread like wild fire wrecking havoc on countless devices. Emotet has been active since 2014, and the reason for that lies in its adaptability. Emotet consistently evolves its tactics, making it challenging for security measures to keep up. With regular updates and improvements, it remains one of the most persistent and elusive threats. Emotet employs various evasion techniques to bypass antivirus systems, it leverages polymorphism which enables it to continuously change its code signature, rendering signature-based detection methods ineffective. It also evades most of the antivirus system by consistently morphing its stub. The stub is the piece of code which decrypts or decompresses the actual malicious code of the malware at runtime. It also encrypts its malicious code, uses obfuscation, and often disguises itself within legitimate files, making it incredibly difficult to identify and remove. Emotet's primary objective is to steal sensitive information such as banking credentials and personal data. It often establishes persistence which makes it survive the reboot using various methods such as registry manipulation and core windows services hooking, which allows it to maintain control and gather valuable information over an extended period. Emotet can also deliver additional malware payloads paving the way for further cybercrime activities. Emotet is frequently delivered using macros or malicious Windows documents as a first stage. It then communicates with a C2 server to fetch and execute the actual malware. It uses elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman public key cryptography to encrypt all traffic, and all the sender received data are ES encrypted. For strings encryption, it uses tax strings, which are XOR decrypted at runtime. Some Emotet variants use a combination of RC4 and AES to encrypt and decrypt the C2 configs. There is no doubt that over the past few years, Emotet has significantly evolved and improved. It went from a simple malware to a profitable business with a huge infrastructure or a mass malware as a service. This was the Emotet malware family explained in 5 minutes of time. Make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.